Anonymous asks, what other crypto assets or technologies interest you beside Bitcoin and Ethereum? Um, I'm, I'm interested in a number of different uh, technologies. I'm particularly interested in the privacy-related technologies, because I think privacy is a very important thing. In those blockchains that are uh, pioneering and testing various forms of uh, privacy, anonymity, etc., including things like Monero, things like uh, Zcash, um, etc. I'm I am interested in some of the other technologies, but not enough to to mention any more uh, that are doing some kind of exploration of of different uh, possibilities, specifically resource sharing blockchains where you can buy compute or storage or network bandwidth uh, or rent rather those resources um, rent out those resources if you have access and and rent those resources if you need them um, using some kind of cryptocurrency to or token to do the transaction and some kind of blockchain to record the resources Valentin asks, what are your thoughts on Litecoin? Do you see it as the silver to Bitcoin's gold? Um, I think Litecoin has actually um, found a very interesting niche, which is um, moving faster and um, with much more rapid development in a very particular area, which is basically Bitcoin only faster. Um, so, so far, Litecoin has in many ways managed to deliver on the promise of silver to Bitcoin's gold, being the first to do SegWit, being the first to do um, a number of the soft forks, being the first to do atomic cross-chain swaps with um, or lightning network with, with other currencies. All of those things indicate that it's able to move pretty fast. And of course, by taking uh, a lot of the innovation uh, from from Bitcoin and following the core roadmap pretty closely too, uh, so that's that's a good place to be. Um, that's not investment advice. That just means it's interesting to me to watch what happens in that market as a test of new functions that are coming in as a technology. It's it's interesting, and I think Charlie's done a, a pretty good job steering that. Um, again, I think it's a different niche from Bitcoin's. Anonymous asks, do privacy-focused altcoins like Monero have a future in light of the second layer innovations coming to Bitcoin? Um, yes, I, I think they do have uh, a future. The, the second layer innovations, yes, they do increase privacy, but um, the base layer and even the second layer doesn't have some of the privacy capabilities that you see in things like Monero and Zcash. Um, and I would like to see those innovations implemented in Bitcoin in the base layer to increase Bitcoin's own privacy. Um, but for a blockchain that's focused on privacy and continuously innovating with that one focus only, they have an advantage. They can move faster. They can implement new features. They can cherry pick the things that are invented elsewhere and use them. Um, within their own blockchain. So as long as they continue delivering uh, quality code that's well maintained and has few security bugs and things like that, um, they absolutely do have a future. I think these types, that type of specialization, that type of differentiation, um, the kind of thing that Monero and Zcash are doing, I, I think is is valuable, um, and it's not likely to be eclipsed by Bitcoin anytime soon. Uh, so it has a smaller niche market. So at the same time, it's not going to suddenly replace Bitcoin. I think that's not realistic. But there is room. This is a very large environment. There are niches available for every single type of uh, blockchain, and each blockchain gets to explore its environmental niche and expand within that environmental niche. Uh, Bitcoin is not occupying the privacy-conscious environment niche uh, for cryptocurrencies. It's occupying the, the robust store of value, high value, very secure <coughs> transaction and very immutable um, niche. How 
Important is that niche, that's a whole other discussion, but that's the niche it's occupying. And Monero and Zcash are, are really expanding the niche for privacy-focused um, blockchains, and I think that's very interesting. Um, I think it's mistaken to really look at these things as necessarily competing head-to-head. -head. As I talked about in, in my talk, The Lion and the Shark, I think there's plenty of room for multiple different apex systems that are the best at what they do, and yet are not in direct competition with each other. And I, I'm very interested in all of them, and I try to keep track of as many as possible, although it's not easy. Anonymous says, would you agree that hypothetical attempts of bootstrapping a completely new value token are now virtually guaranteed to fail? Um, no, I wouldn't agree. And in fact, I thought that in 2014. I thought after the altcoin mess in 2014 and the initial coin offerings and all of the altcoins that came out in 2013 and 2014, I thought, you know, this market isn't going anywhere. Nothing is going to be interesting enough to compete with Bitcoin and produce an altcoin that could actually get some traction. And then Ethereum came out. And, you know, <laughs> honestly, a number of others that I find somewhat interesting that are differentiating sufficiently and doing things that can't necessarily be done on the on the same blockchain as as Bitcoin. And so, yes, you can. The the idea that there aren't other ideas out there that are just as good, um, I think that's naive. 